Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to see one of the important topic of how to use without how to use client performance options as standard functionality which is available in system administration um, using which we will be able to without using any code we will be able to perform some magics in Dynamics 365 finance and operation. So that's what we are going to see in today's video. If you are watching my video for the first time, then my name is Straight Up Sir Shankaran. And I have been posting videos and articles and documents related to Dynamics 365 finance and operation on a regular basis. If you want to get regular updates, please do follow my profile. Fine. That's a quick intro. So now in today's video, we are going to see how to do some magics using an option called a client performance option. So in sorry, in setup, you go, yeah. So this is client performance option menu item. So just click on client performance option. So we have various toggles available in this page, right? So we will right now in this video, we will see some of the important options with which you can play around and do some magics in uh, D3SDY F1 row. Fine. So first of all, before getting to this, uh, just a minute, I will do a refresh of this page once so that uh, the current settings are reflecting over there go to the main form yeah so now i'll go back again to the system administration then set up client performance options so the first uh, toggle is enable legacy navigation bar so the the help text what it clearly says is when it is on the black navigation board, the navigation board is basically talking about this black navigation board, which says system administration setup client performance, right? So if you want to have this black navigation board or in the legacy system on the Dynamics Acceptor where you will have a, a global search uh, pane where you will be able to find out uh, the various menus and uh, options available, right? So if you want to go back to the same global search tab instead of having this uh, navigation path, then you simply disable this toggle then click on ok now if you see that uh, i need i think i need to refresh the page uh, so i'll refresh the page yeah now you see we brought the global search pane so here i can type uh, whatever the options which i want to navigate back purchase order or whatever it is so this is basically a global search option which is available in dynamics 365 so but Thing is if you navigate to any of the let's say if i go to accounts variable or purchase order system will not show the navigation path you will not have the option to view the navigation path over here so so this was the option which is newly introduced and it is part of so no coding is required for this to enable or disable this so if you go to system administration client performance option and now if you enable this legacy and navigation bar then click on ok then you refresh the um, page then you can see otherwise the search option will be available over here and then uh, if you navigate to any of the forms you will be able to see the path which will be displayed uh, in the top of the pane in the navigation also so this is the first option in the client performance options page so next thing is so client sorry i'm going to client performance options Next thing is many of you know it already features call out enabled. So this is whenever we hover over any of the options. So that is a help text, right? Which comes over uh, like this. If you want to have this feature call outs in the new features explaining about or introducing about, especially in case of uh, introducing a new feature, you need to enable this. Otherwise you can disable this. Then these kind of call outs will not be available in your new in your forms. So that is about feature call outs. And uh, coming back to the interesting point on fact boxes. So fact bo boxes enabled or disabled will decide on providing you whether you want to have the related information to be displayed or not. Because these fact boxes and preview panes can help you present relevant information in single form. First, let me tell you what are these fact boxes are. I'll cancel this. Let me go back to the same purchase order for the same uh, explanation going back to purchase order. If I open any of the forms of the purchase order, on the top right corner, you have a icon which says about the related information. This is a, once you click on this, you have the related information, which is basically the fact boxes, which 
calculate your charges currencies total discounts and also give you the relevant related information right so this but one thing is you can collapse this particular related information at any point in time but uh, if it is if it is less to use you can do that when a fact box is collapsed the query is not getting executed but at the same time the fact boxes and the preview panes can cause performance uh, can problems also because every time it has to run the corresponding data in the back end and then display the uh, related information from the database so it can cause some performance related issues so sometimes these performance see these fact boxes are not required so if those fact boxes are not required and uh, if those related informations are not useful then uh, you can simply go to system administration client performance options then disable these fact boxes then click on ok now if i go back uh, to the same purchase order all purchase orders then uh, if i open any of the purchase order you can see already in the right column the the nav the fact boxes icon is removed so i will not have access to the related information so basically fact boxes and preview panes can help you pre present relevant information in a single form so that you do not have to switch to multiple forms but uh, however the fact boxes and preview panes can have performance intense intensive so it can be performance intensive so just keep that in mind so if you want to enable or disable this because fact box queries that include summary information can be quite expensive with regard to database processing so that's the reason if you want you can disable this and the other option which i want to talk about in today's video is we'll go back to system administration client performance option so i am enabling fact boxes so remote part execution we are not looking into it right now yeah tile counts is very important so if you are if we have already published a video about workspaces if you want you can check out the same so tile counts if it is enabled let's say the tile counts are enabled you click on ok so if i go to any of the workspaces um and just open for the purpose let's say i am opening sales order processing and inquiry so you can see the tile counts 14085 i can view the tile counts right so these counts give me an idea for the manager who is viewing how many counts of unconfirmed sales orders or delayed order lines are available or instead they can also have the option to view it at the grid level but for some reason if i want, don't wish to um if i wish to uh, do not show the tile counts then you go to client performance option you don't need to sit with the developer to disable this just disable this toggle and then uh, click on okay and then once again you go back and then uh, once again if i go to the workspace uh, which i was checking is sales order uh, i think yeah sales order processing and inquiry now you can see the counts are not available it's simply uh, acting as a hyperlink so once if i click on I, this unconfirmed orders it will take me to the unconfirmed orders in the system so it will not display the total count of the unconfirmed orders or the delayed orders so it's just uh, an option for the user to view the tile counts so this will be i'll be useful in uh, managing your day-to-day uh, -day work so if you have the tile counts it will be highly helpful in order to manage your uh, unconfirmed or uh, um, confirmed purchase orders and take that for take them for approval right so this is about tile counts and then automatic enhanced preview so this is also similar to fact boxes we will have the enhanced previews but uh, i suggest this is also not required but you can have fact you can have fact boxes enabled but this may have some performance uh, issues in terms of uh, since the data has to be pulled out from multiple forms so i suggest you can have uh, fact boxes that is more and more enough more than enough and then um, and then the next option is enable personalization so right now we have we have also made a video about the personalization of the forms how to make a field mandatory with zero coding right if you want you can check out it but if we disable this then we will not be able to personalize any of the forms if i go to accounts payable then click on all vendors um even if i right click here you don't have the personalize uh, option here even if i get into the vendor and if i want to make any field mandatory or uh, hide the field i don't have the option of personalization right so so in order to do that first of all you need to go to system administration click on client performance options and then uh, you enable personalization then click on okay 
So in that case, you will have the option to personalize the forms both at the header and the line level. So now if I click on right click on the page, you have to right click on the page. So we have the personalize option and even if I get into any of the vendor account and uh, and then even if I click inside the form for this field, I will be able to personalize this field. I can change the name as vendor description or I can hide and require, make it as a mandatory, whatever it is. So this is how you can make the form personalization access to the users so that the user can change those options or if you want to restrict those options, you don't need any coding for that. You can simply do it from the front end by enabling the personalization option, right? And these are some of the higher level concepts, which I do not explain in this video. But one more point which I want to talk about is if you are planning to export the rows generally in any of the forms, you know, and if I go to, uh, let's say, if I go to accounts by purchase orders, Let's say I want to export all the purchase orders which are available in the system. I'll right click on the form and then I'll click on export all rows, right? But sometimes system will restrict us from exporting more than 10,000 forms or 20,000 forms, uh, 20,000 records uh, from the same form, right? So you will not be able to export more than 10,000 or 20,000 forms. So in those cases, 20,000 records. So in those cases, what you generally do is you navigate to system administration and then I click on client performance. I think here you can give up to 10 lakhs. I think it will not take more than that. Let's see. 10, 100,000, 10,000, lakh, 10 lakh. I have given 10 lakh one. I click on OK. Yeah. So the maximum number of rows that can be exported to Excel cannot be greater than 1 million, right? So you cannot give more than 1 million. So so the thing is, if you want to have a control over how many rows you want to export, allow the users to export it, then give maybe 20,000, whatever the value, and then save it. Also, you can also have, have the control over the grid level uh, records, but uh, this is not required for this video purpose. Um, then, uh, yeah, I think that's it for today's video. So these are some of the no code magic tips which we have by using client performance options which we have in um, Dynamics 365. So just use it in your daily operations or in your projects implementation. And uh, hope to see you in another interesting topic tomorrow. Thank you.